I'm sketching on my mobile phone. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Um, the weather cooled down at the weekend, which was absolutely uh, splendid. I can't bear the hot weather. It freaks me out, man. And I'm all about the rain. So Sunday, it rained and it was so nice. I think it's the first time we've seen rain in eight weeks in the UK, which is like unheard of. But anyway, um, I'm sat on the sofa Sunday morning, a uh, cup of tea, and I thought, what can I do? I just pulled my phone out and I started sketching. And it, I'm, I'm just blown away with the Samsung Note 8 with the um, S Pen with it. You can do so much. So I just started doodling. I didn't have any idea what I was going to do. Uh, so... Um, crashed in this watercolour sky. This is in iPainter, by the way. Great little app. Absolutely fantastic. I think I did buy this. Um, I don't think it's a freebie. But it's got some really cool watercolour brushes. So I just put this sky in, then a little foreground. And then um, I'm, I'm starting thinking, look, let's have a bit of a mountain in it. And this is really, I suppose... Um, I seen from the Peak District. I used to do a lot of paintings years ago of the Peak. I used to go walking in the Peak a lot with a mate of mine. And uh, he'd take a, a, a book with him and sit on a rock and read that while I was sketching. And I filled loads of sketchbooks. We were both um, lecturers at the time. And we used to um, uh, I, we used to get time off. Uh, it's, it's not the same anymore. Uh, there are all the rules of... Uh, contracts have changed for lecturers but we used to get a couple of half days off a week uh, so we'd, we'd jump in a car and, and drive up to the peak because uh, we, we're not far away from the peak district and um, and, and sketch and he'd, we, we'd, we'd do a walk and um, you know he'd, he'd uh, do a bit of reading and I'd be sketching so this sketch is really just a sort of a, a throwback to that, a sort of a fond memory of those days. I've not been there for a, a long while. And uh, just sort of something that reminded me of uh, that. I should have been sketching this with a pencil, really, but I was too lazy to change the brush. But I like the way you can um, soften off those edges. That's just like... You could be watching a watercolour video there, the way that softens off. That is so cool. So, But, you know, this is on a phone. A, a phone. I'm just sort of sat there on the settee, supping my cup of tea, and making this thing up as I'm going along. Totally chilled out. Um, making me want to go for a, a walk in the peak again. I've got a, a, a week booked away in St. Ives soon, so that's going to be great, because you're going to get to see... Uh, some harbour scenes, I guess, and uh, seascapes and stuff like that, because um totally going to be taking my sketchbook with me and my camera for photos. Anyway, this is out, out of my head. Um thought I'd crash a few rocks and stones and pebbles in the foreground, because it is very um, rocky in the peaks. It's, easily, it's easy to twist your ankle. Um... I just love this app. It's so cool. This is this is some really nice apps for the Sam uh, for the um, Android, I should say. I mean, I'm using a Samsung Note 8. Thought I'd put a little bit of he heather in there, a little purple heather. And um, I was a bit worried when I first got it that the, the apps weren't going to be up to scratch compared to the iPad apps, but they certainly are. This is as good as anything I've used. So, uh, you know, you can put bits of detail in there, zoom in. I mean, it's so easy to use. Uh, I obviously didn't like it. I think I, I, I felt I'd overdone the other and it was too, too dark. So I went back in again. And uh, this just had, just to bring the foreground forward, really. I suppose I could have put a little bit on the hillside as well, but, but I didn't. But, um, it is lacking something, this painting. It is definitely uh, looks a bit barren and empty. Now, there is a trick to selling watercolour paintings. 
and a friend of mine told me this trick. His name's Peter Woolley. He he has he's a lot more successful than me because he's a, he's just a painted watercolor without a break. I had a few years break when I didn't do anything, but he's had books published and all sorts. I th- I'll put a link to his YouTube channel. Um, he he just does watercolor, and I think he uses it to uh, sell videos and stuff. But he is re- he really is a nice guy, and uh, he gave me a tip once that um, if you want to sell a painting. Put some sheep in it. So that's my hot tip of the day, guys. If you want to sell um, a watercolour specifically, I suppose, and (laughs) it will need to have some fields in it, I guess, stick some sheep in there and uh, you will have a saleable product. And it does work. Another trick is swans. If you're doing a, a, a river scene, stick a few swans in it. So these are my sheep, and I'm not, you don't always have to go crazy with detail. People will know what they are, and um, you can just put a sort of an indication of um, what you've painted, really. I mean, that's a pretty pretty rough-looking sheep, to be honest. But when you zoom out, it, it you know, you know what it is. You know that it's a sheep, uh, and that makes it a saleable product now this obviously isn't because it's just a sketch i wouldn't be putting this up for sale or anything but um you get the idea stick some sheep in your paintings and you will have a winner so um i just can't believe i've done this on a phone it's um sat sat there with my cup of tea it really was uh, a very chilled out um experience i do find when when i I mean i've done one or two videos on the phone that um it is really is a fun thing to do and um it's stress-free because you're doing it on your phone it doesn't yeah i don't think you're intending to set out to produce anything of value or anything it's just a doodle and i keep getting surprised at the quality of the the stuff i'm doing i did crop it a little bit look at that you can't do that in Procreate. So there you go. That That is my quick sketch of the Peak District on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up. As always, it's much appreciated. Helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully... I'll see you in the next one. Bye.